Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed C. Here are my teammates, Nicole Juarez Flores and Ro Cox, and we are Team Morocco. Today we present you Tenant Voice. Tenant Voice came to be when we noticed throughout our lives that we constantly see in the media issues pertaining to public housing, especially ones that are not being resolved in a timely manner. Our app's mission is to create a dedicated platform for NYCHA residents to publicly post concerns and view issues faced by other NYCHA complexes. Our mission is to amplify voices and ensure timely resolution. And now I would like to pass it on to Nicole. Thank you, Mo. For Tenant Voice, we use CSS frameworks such as Hover, Tracker UI, Tailwind, and Recharts in order to design our front end and to build a dynamic user interface. We also leverage Cloudinary in order for our users to be able to upload images. For the backend, we use Connects, Express, and Postgres in order to process and store our users' information. And now I'll pass it on to Ro. Thank you, Nicole. So for our database, we created and managed four tables. First is the users table to manage the data for when a new user signs up. Then there's the locations table to keep track of each of the housing complexes that our tenants reside in and report on. Then there's the post table to render each housing complex report in our post page. And lastly, our comments table is for keeping track of comments made by each user. And I'll pass it back to Mohammed to talk about our front end design. Thank you, Ro. While developing the post page, I use express routing to create endpoints for users to perform full CRUD operations, as well as a user authentication system to allow only valid users to make posts and comments. Going to the next slide, we'll be watching our demo application presented by Ro. Hi everyone, my name is Ro and here is our app tenant voice. I'm a tenant who's been experiencing heating problems in my apartment, so I wanna join the site to make a report. I'll fill up my full name and username, as well as my email. And I live in Astoria, Queens, so I'll hit Queens. Great, so now that I've made an account, I want to check out the current problems that tenants are facing. Looks like there's many kinds of problems, and I only want to see the ones for heating right now. I called my landlord 12 times, but have not gotten a response. I'm actually dealing with something really similar. I'm going to leave a comment. Great, now that I left a comment, I'm ready to make my own report. All right, now that I'm at the previous page, I'm gonna fill out this form. Now I've been dealing with this problem for four months, so about 16 weeks, and I'm gonna upload a picture of my broken radiator for proof. All right, I'm gonna add a description and hit submit. Right? Cool. Now that I've made my own report, I'm curious. I wonder what happens when I click on data. Wow. Huh. Okay. So it looks like out of all of the reports on this site, 6% of them have to do with heating. That's very interesting. All right. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go back. And thank you for watching. This was Tenant Voice. Hi everyone, I'm Nicole Juarez Flores. I was born and raised in the South Bronx and my family is from Mexico and Honduras. For Tenant Voice, I spearheaded the overall concept and led the front end development of the website. Recognizing the challenges our users are coming in with, it was crucial for me to design a website that provided users with a sense of calm, empowerment, and community. I integrated the Recharts library for the data section of our website, which displays charts of our users' demographic by borough, the magnitude of problems that our users are filing, and a graph on how long it takes for NYCHA to respond to these complaints for the past six months. A major challenge I faced was balancing layout elements, as sometimes adjusting certain elements disrupted the design of others. I addressed this by separating components and individually commenting out sections. This strategy helped me pinpoint and resolve issues for a smoother integration and to move along faster. And now I'll pass it on to Mohammed. 
Hi, my name is Mohammed. My family is from Senegal and I was born and raised in Senegal. Now I currently live in the Bronx. For Tenant Voice, I implemented Cloudinary widget to upload the image for our application to handle storage use. Once uploaded, Cloudinary returns a response to containing the URL of the uploaded images. And then I store the URL inside of our database for future use. While developing the post controllers models, I ensured that requests were parsed, handled, and sent back to the user in a proper schema. If there was any error, it was handled using a try catch block. A challenge I faced was figuring out how to implement Cloudinary. For that, I looked into countless documentation and many debugging to implement pictures. One challenge I faced was ensuring that data was being sent back and forth between the server and the front end, and it was in a proper format so that my teammates can properly be able to use it and display it in the front end. And now I would like to pass it on to Ro. Hi again, my name is Ro Cox. My family is from Hawaii, New York, and the Philippines. And I worked as the Scrum Master and Full Stack Developer for Tenant Voice. For Tenant Voice, I have built the ERDs, migrations, and seeds to manage our database for users to make accounts, reports, and keep track of the housing complexes users live in. This involved using Connects and Table Plus to build out and alter the schema of our database based on the diagrams I presented before. And it also involved populating the database with data relevant to our user stories. A challenge I faced was ensuring that the migrations I built aligned with our diagrams and ensuring that our data was going to be passed onto the model and controllers properly. This meant I had to be sure that I was aligned with my project partners since this data was going to be fetched and rendered to the front end. And this was Tenant Voice. Thank you all for listening.